still with Fjortov, that's good work. Fjortov, he wants it that one himself, and he's got it. My goal all the way, says yes, Fjortov. It's not very often that I use Britney Spears as a quote when I'm talking about football for performances, but it's not very often either that a player score hat-trick in two games in a row in the Premiership. So I will use Britney Spears, oops, he did it again, because Erling Braut Holland, when everybody maybe thought that he would be rested, Nottingham Forest at home, Pep may be thinking Villa coming up on Saturday, then the Champions League, so I have to rest some players. What did Pep do? Well, he put two strikers in, uh, Alvarez and Erling Braut uh, Holland. And the interesting thing with, with Erling Braut Holland is his ability, and this is something I've seen from, he was a young player, this is his ability to block things out. That he just concentrates to do whatever he has to do on the pitch, and just concentrate on being in the right position, doing, using the right tools to score the goals. So he scored three goals, one with his left, one with his right, and one with his head. That is typical for the player. It's also typical that he doesn't need so many touches. He scored his first goal on his first touch of the game. He scored his second goal on his second touch of the game. So that was 22 minutes of a Premiership game against Nottingham Forest. And Nottingham Forest, of course, they were prepared. They did everything they, they could to stop him. But the Manchester City team is all about creating chances. For Erling Braut Holland, it's all about getting in the good positions. And then he got, got players around him, like, like Foden, De Bruyne yesterday on the bench, but still Silva and, and Alvarez and, and Gundogan, so many players, you can just name them all to find them and it's interesting to see when Manchester City play football there's always one or two players free uh, based on the movement, based on the strategy uh, of the players and the quality of the players of course. There were those saying that um, he wouldn't fit into Pep's system. I had a, um, I, I interviewed Pep Guardiola after the game yesterday and I asked him about that and I will ask you to check out uh, my tweet account, my timeline to find that into you. It was very interesting the answers that he gave. Uh, Alan Braut Holland I got straight after the game as well and he, he wanted to know where Eric Bakke was. Uh, of course uh, his dad's teammate at Leeds United who was my sidekick uh, on the game but again and I think that is the main thing for him he wanted to thank his team he wanted to say that how happy he was and he said how happy he was because they have done the right choice again. Remember, he went to Molde, he went to Salzburg, he went to Dortmund, all based on the development. And now he's going to Manchester City, uh, his dad's former club, and um, he's so happy that that choice was done. Talking about City, talking about Alfie Holland, in the Premiership, uh, Alan Braut Holland got nine goals, sensational in five games, but his dad has got 18. So there's still a record to be broken every league round and like it was in Germany there were always new records that this uh, young lad, he's 22 by the way, uh, could break but he still got to get his dad's number, 18-9 and I know that Alfie is thinking of that but I also know that Alfie will be very very happy when he will break that record and of course he will break that uh, record soon. The Games coming up now quickly and already on Saturday is Aston Villa away. I think that Steven Gerrard hope that Erling Braut Holland will be rested. <laughs>